Hey everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for joining me. We're going to be talking about stropping today. Um, so, first things first, you'll want to get a strop made by a guy named John Dunkel. Um, you can get this strop at uh, a website called Smoky Mountain Wood Carvers. They're up in Townsend, Tennessee. Uh, I love this strop. This is a great gift. Um, my mother gave it to me for, for my birthday. The reason I like it, it's got a it's got an edge where you can strop a V tool, and it's got a curved area where you can strop um, some curved tools like a gouge or something. Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm just putting on some uh, some buffing compound, which is sort of an abrasive compound, and I'm just rubbing it in with my finger. Alright, so first things first, we're going to strop just a regular old straight edge knife. Um, the best way that I've learned to learn whenever you're first dropping is you want to lay the blade flat and try and slide it forward. And if you slide it forward and you don't get any resistance, then you need to add a little bit of angle to your blade, to your, to your strop. So once you start getting a little bit of resistance and a little bit of bite, that means that your, the angle of your blade is just right to where you're going to, you can strop. And you'll kind of develop the correct angle as you do it, but once you get that angle uh, where it's just starting to bite, then you just pull it back uh, away from the edge. And uh, I usually try it on a straight blade, blade knife, just alternate which side you go to. Um, it's not as critical, it's not a huge deal if you uh, do it a couple times in a row on one side. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually just laying the blade flat with my finger. Just be careful if you're doing this, um, you can cut yourself pretty easy. Uh, but I found that this also helps me get a pretty good angle. Just keep keep pulling it back and forth until you get a nice smooth no resistance pull. So what I was doing there just a second ago is uh, looking at the blade. You should never see an edge once you are really got the stropping done really correctly. So this is a V-tool, Drake V-tool. And I'm just going to pull this guy right down that corner. So. Uh, the strop itself is recessed to where, at an angle to where you can pull a V-tool just right down it. And you see that I actually did two directions, two in the consecutive same direction. And I'm going to do four right here. So it's not a huge deal if you um, do them in consecutive swaps. But just keep pulling. Once you start feeling real good and smooth, go ahead and flip it over. We're going to do this just like we did <clears throat> on the, the flat blade knife. Just pull it right at that good angle to where it would just regularly start grabbing if you were pushing it. So this guy's starting to smell, feel pretty smooth right now. So I'll go ahead and lay him down. Now I don't actually, this drop uh, doesn't work good on these sort of gouges. Um, I can't get the angle, you know, I can't get to the right curvature to get the inside. So I'm going to show you how to do the outside here. And what I'm doing is as I'm pulling it, I'm just kind of rotating it along that, along the edge. Sort of in the exact same way I would if it was a flat edge, uh, the same angle rather. But uh, I'm just, just curving along the curve, curvature getting that outer edge. Now the inside edge, what I actually do is I'll just wad up a piece of leather and I'll just pull it down the uh, the inside of the curvature. It actually works pretty good. So trying to get the inside of this chisel, it's not actually a flat chisel, it's got a slight, slight curvature to it. <clears throat> and I'm just, you can see I'm just hitting the whole edge, pulling it to me. Now, what I actually notice while I'm doing this is there's a little bit of a, a nick on it on that right side corner. And you can see me kind of focusing on it right there. I notice it. So I'm going to try and I'm going to try and put some emphasis on it right here. And you see it right there. I actually caught it right there real good. So I'm starting to work it out. Not really a nick. It's like a it's like where those the the teeth of the blade, I guess. The little microscopic teeth are kind of jutted out. And now I'm just getting the outer curvature of the gouge. So what do you do whenever your knife really does have a nick or it's got a really rough spot? Um, let's say you're stropping and you feel something that's really pulling hard. You'll feel it for sure. Just take your uh, 
take a real fine um, abrasive uh, sandpaper and just slide it back just once on each side or whichever side you want to don't want to do it on both sides you want to do it on the side that actually has the damage on it but just slide it once and then check and try and uh, check your your strop and you should feel no resistance uh, if you fixed it I hope you guys like the video hope it helps um, I'm not really an expert at stropping but it seems to work for me and so I hope it'll work for you if you like the video please subscribe tune in next time and we'll see you again